Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to be looking at probably the best condenser microphones that you can get for your home studio setup. The microphones that I'm talking about is the Neumann TLM 102 and the Sennheiser MK8. So before we jump into things, I'd first like to thank Sennheiser for sending me this MK8 Studio Condenser Microphone because as you guys know, I love doing microphone comparisons, especially if the price of the two products are exactly the same. And in this case, both of these microphones are $700. They are totally different in terms of features and sound. So it's going to be a great comparison to see exactly which one is best for what you're doing and for your home studio setup. Secondly, if you do end up being interested in any of these condenser microphones, I will leave them link down in the description below and then last but not least make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video because I will be doing a talking test comparison between these microphones and a singing test comparison just so you can kind of figure out which microphone suits your voice best and that will work best in your home studio setup but without any further ado let's jump into this video and see what these microphones are all about. The first microphone that we can have a look at is the Neumann TLM 102, which is one of Neumann's best-selling microphones not just because of the exceptional quality, but also because of the price. Costing around $700, this microphone comes in a beautiful silver and red design that just looks super classy and elegant. When it comes to build quality, the TLM 102 doesn't disappoint either, coming with a solid metal casing that will definitely last you a long time. In terms of frequency response, Neumann hit the nail on the head, coming in super flat with only a slight bump on the high end for a little more brightness. I do think this has to be the perfect microphone for any home studio. The next microphone that we're going to have a look at is the Sennheiser MK8, which is one of the most versatile and quality sounding microphones on the market today. Costing around $700, this microphone comes in a clean silver and black finish that just looks smooth and straight to the point. When it comes to build quality, the MK8 is super durable, coming in a solid metal body and should last you quite a while. In terms of frequency response, the MK8 comes in pretty flat as well, with only a few enhancements on the high end. This microphone also comes with a roll of switch five different polar patterns, an attenuation volume switch, and a pouch for on-the-go travel. So now that we've gone through these microphones in terms of build quality, features, and overall look and design, it's time to move on to the most important part, which is the sound quality test. So I now have the Sennheiser MK8 Studio Condenser Microphone set up and ready to go and this is what it sounds like. I don't have anything on the vocal chain of this microphone. I literally took it straight out of the box, set it up, created a track and this is what it sounds like. So I now have the Neumann TLM 102 condenser microphone set up and ready to go and this is what it sounds like straight out of the box. I don't have any effects on the vocal chain, I literally created a track, plugged in this microphone, added a little bit of gain and started recording and as you can tell it sounds beautiful. If you're not the one then why does my soul feel glad? today if you're not the one then why does my hand feel yours this way if you are not mine then why does your heart return my call if you are not mine would i have the strength to stand at all i'll never know what the future brings but i know you're here with me now we'll make it through and i hope you are the one i share my life with i don't want to run away but i can't take it i don't understand if i'm not made for you then why does my heart tell me that I am? Is there any way that I can stay in your arms? 
Now, for my final overview of the Neumann TLE Mono 2 versus the Sennheiser MK8, I have to say that both of these microphones sound fantastic. When it comes to sound quality, the Neumann TLA Mono 2 was definitely the better option for my specific voice, because with this microphone, you could definitely hear a lot more brightness. That bump up on the high end with the frequency response is definitely noticed. And for vocal recording, and because this is a Neumann studio microphone, you can't really go better for the price. But when you look at the Sennheiser MK8, this microphone had a lot more low end, which is something a lot of these microphones struggle to have especially if you go for cheaper microphones and in this case the low end was really nice great for someone that's maybe a female artist or with a very high pitched voice so that you can get a better overall balance with this extra low end but it's still a great sounding microphone and all these extra features that you get with you know the polar pads and the roll off switch the attenuation switch this makes this a lot more versatile of a microphone option compared to that of the Neumann TLM 102. This microphone you're just going to be setting up up and recording into it and it's perfect for the studio setup and environment whereas the Sennheiser MK8 you can use for interviews for live performance if you want to hold it like this maybe not for live because it's going to pick up a lot of sound because it is a condenser microphone but the different polar patterns and options that it gives you is just phenomenal and it is a lot more versatile than that of the Neumann TLM 102. So that brings this video to an end of my comparison between the Neumann TLM 102 and the Sennheiser MK8. Again, I'd just like to thank Sennheiser for sending me this awesome versatile microphone. If you're interested in any of these microphones, I will leave them linked down in the description below. If you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time. You know I